In the last episode, we went over how to add methods to objects. In this episode, I want to just touch on how we can uh, teach one object to talk to another one. So we had two objects. We had Bob, who we had been renaming and adding functions to. Um, so right now, Bob is actually Seth Jones. And we had Jen, who is still Jennifer Smith. And in, in this episode, I want to teach Jen how to talk to Bob or Seth, uh, or whoever it may turn out to be in the end. So I'm going to define a method on Jen that knows how to deal with incoming objects. So we're going to say uh, Jen dot talk to person and it takes an argument and then in here this is going to be pretty simple we're just going to say return hello and then add on person dot full name oh I messed something up somewhere oh yeah I need to say equals function excuse me okay so now we can say Jen dot talk to Bob and I messed that up because I did not call the function sorry that was confusing for a second so let me redefine this and we'll put parentheses so what I did wrong in case you're confused is I called this as if it were an attribute and it's actually a method so you have to put the parentheses on there to actually get it to execute. Um, so now we should be able to call, talk to Bob. Hello, Seth Jones. Let me clear this out. So what's interesting about this is Jen now knows how to talk to any object that implements uh, the full name method. So for example, we could create a new object called framework equals uh, full. Well, we would just create an object and then we say framework dot full name equals function and return Ruby on Rails. Okay, so now we should be able to say gen dot uh, talk to uh, framework. And so basically, gen can talk to anything that knows how to tell you what its full name is. Just to drive the point home, we can define a function um, called full name here in the actual just in the window and we can say and if you remember from the last episode um, any function defined right here will go onto the window object so we can say full name return uh, chrome browser and we can say now uh, gen talk to window or if we're being uh, if you're remembering what we talked about last time with the word this uh, we can also pass that in so if we think about this um, let's actually look at one more thing here so I just want to emphasize one last final point before we jump off so one thing we can do is say like so this is the function on the window itself so if I say this dot uh, let's just call like location.href. So this grabs the URL that we're on. So now if I say gen.talk to this, it's going to say hello google.com, which because we're working in the window, I just want to remind you is the same thing as saying gen talk to window. So what I'm, the last thing I want to point out here is this is really kind of one of the fundamental tenants of object-oriented programming is we have one object talking to another object and the objects don't really care how the other one implements what it's doing as long as it implements the right API. So for example, the window has a function on it called full name 
that works totally differently than the way that our original Bob works. Like they're not even similar in what they do. But Jen doesn't care. Uh, all she cares is that Bob knows how to respond to that message. And to be clear, when we talk about message, right here, the person object is whatever comes in. And in some cases, it was not a person. So it's probably not, you know, if this was really, if all those use cases were actually use cases, we would need to call it something more generic because not all of those things were people. Um, but whatever the case, we're sending the message full name to person inside of this function on gen. So that's how you should think about it and I hope that's helpful and I will talk to you next time. Uh, please like the video and subscribe if you want to stay tuned and there will be a lot more of these coming their way. Talk to you later.